What's good, AC Gang? Y'all kidding me? It's Sugar Candy. And this is your boy, AJ. It's been a while since you said that. I know, it's a long time. So today we are reacting to Young Dawn and Source Guy. Alright, I don't know. It's my first time, so. Young Dawn and Source Guy losing my toe. Right. So, um, I'm not really sure what it's about, you know, losing my toe. Besides that, I don't really know. You mean it? You mean you don't understand the gist of how it's gonna yeah, play like, out? Yeah, it's like a funny thing right. or like serious thing or like. Nah, it's funny. I don't know. But I'm like, what could? What's the story? What could be yeah, a story so behind? It's my first time getting to his channel, so I, I don't know about him yet. So. I die, die. So we gonna find out. So let's go. My sister kneels down and is like, "Let me see." I take my hand off my toes so she could see, but I didn't look. But between the look my sister had on her face okay. and how that right there will already be anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> like you never had a situation where you're just like, I oh, wanna look, I wanna look. How bad and is it? Somebody else looking like, oh. You be like, oh, nah, chill. I don't wanna even. Okay, let's see. Bad my toes were hurting. I was expecting her to say, yo, your toes, they're gone. Your toes. <laughs> Yo, what's good, bro? After you finish watching this animation, make sure to go and check out my vlog channel. If I had to describe it, it would be spirituality and personal development right. meets in the top good. right corner of the screen. Or but that's good, spirituality. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Most memorable spanking I have. I think the only time he ever spanked me on my butt too. He was more of a hold out your hand kind of discipline. And after that happened in the second grade, I think my dad disciplined me physically only once more. And that must have been either in the third or fourth grade. So here's what happened. One day after school, my sister and I were hanging out in my mom's room. And I don't know how it was for you, but growing up, mom's room was the best room. Her Wait, I gotta ask, because you grew up literally like that with your sister. Mm -hmm. Like, how was that? Like, was it like that for you? Like, hanging yeah, out with your mom? Yeah, that's the best one to go to, your mom. It's true. Like, it's the biggest bed and everything is comfortable. True. Like, for me and my sister, like, we had our older sister and stuff like that. We always together. Mm -hmm. And then, like, as time went on, it was just me and my other sister. That's, um, we're like three years apart. And we used to always stay in my parents' room, especially, you know, those days you gotta go to school or whatever you're going down. We'd be like, this is so comfortable. I just so wanna get out of bed. And the room be so cool and just perfect, like, you know? were softer, the bed was bigger, and there was a TV with all the channels in there. And back then, that was the only bedroom with air conditioning. So her room was like the oasis in the house, always clean, always comfortable. So after school, that was the chill spot for me and my sister. Well, around this time, mm -hmm. my mother had recently purchased an elliptical, which was a very strange machine to me at the time. I don't think I ever saw one before she bought it. Now, she made it very what? clear that this wasn't Don't a toy, you. right? It yeah. wasn't a play thing. It was supposed to be for exercise. So, of course, whenever she wasn't around, I'd get on it and go for a ride. <laughs> to me, <laughs> it wasn't exercise. I was playing, okay? I got Cartoon Network on the TV. I got some Kool-Aid and potato chips chilling on the night table beside the bed. Nigga, I don't think I would have had more fun at Disneyland, bro. Yeah. <laughs> If you a parent watching this, just understand this. We tell a kid not to touch something. They don't do it. If you have a new toy, it's like something new, but for them it's like a toy, regardless of what you say. You're like, don't touch this. That's like, ooh, look at this. What is someone with this does or this button does? It's gonna make them do it. So don't get mad if they do it, you know? So one faithful afternoon, my sister and I are laying in my mom's Some bed Rajat. watching cartoons when I decided to get up on the elliptical. So I'm riding it, and then I'm like, hey, this you trying to turn part. up, though? She's like, sure. So I give no, her a no. turn on the elliptical. And I've always been super competitive, right? Anytime my sister and I were playing anything, I'd find a way to turn it into a competition. So I say to her, OK, let's see who can make it go faster. Of course, being older and a boy, I won. Then I was like, OK, how about this? Let's see who can make it go backwards the fastest. Surprise, surprise, surprise. I'm that guy. And my sister wasn't a sore loser, but there's only so much loss any person can take before they don't want to play anymore. Realizing that, I try to come up with something based on the elliptical that she could maybe win, right? So here's what I came up with. The challenge was, 
My sister was to get on the elliptical and start pedaling at full speed, as hard as she could. I was then going to attempt to bring it to a stop I by putting it. my foot on the foot pedal thing. Is this a true story? And apply force in the opposite direction. Basically, I was thinking, I'm so much stronger than my little sister that even as she's pedaling the elliptical at full speed, I'll be able to stop it. Well, turns out that's not how physics work. And unfortunately, you don't learn the formula for momentum until after the third grade. So I didn't realize that once she got the elliptical going, I was going to be pushing against not just her strength, but as well as all the force that she would have generated from turning the elliptical as fast as she could. So there she is, pedaling at full speed. I'm standing beside her with what I am sure was a very smug look on my face, as I was sure this could only end one way. She gives me the signal to say, all right, take a shot. I Who's pick up my foot, time her rotations, oh, and then I slam my bare foot down on the pedal. Not only was I unable to stop the elliptical, but it was going First so all, fast. People um, works out on the machine with no shoes, though. That's why they say you wear shoes at all times. Yeah. But you heard what you just said. 10 years old and younger. His sister looks younger than that. I mean, yeah. how... How, you know, your decision is going to be the best. That you know it flung that. my foot right into the rotating wheel at the front of the elliptical. And remember, this was in like 2003, 2004 when ellipticals didn't have the protective coverings over the wheels that they got today. Needless to say, oh. my foot might as well have been thrown into a rotating cheese grater. I scream out in agony and then fall to the floor holding my toesies. My sister hops <laughs> off and is of course very worried. I'm holding my foot and blood is starting to drip from my hands. Ooh. So I know it's bad, but I'm scared to look. My sister kneels down and is like, you see. I take my hand off my toes so she could see, but I didn't look. But between the look my sister had on her face and how bad my toes were hurting, I was expecting her to say, yo, your toes, they're gone. I'm like, yo, how bad is it? She's like, eh, pretty bad. So I muster up the courage and I take a look. I ain't know it was possible for that much blood to come from such a small part of your body, but my toe was leaking, bro. Luckily, it was still attached. But there was a nasty gash on the toe beside my big toe, and all the other toes were fucked. But the one beside the big toe, that, that one looked like they was in trouble. So I call out for my auntie, who took care of us while my mom was at work. She comes in the room and is like, what did you do? She sees the blood, she sees the guilt on our faces, and she knew right away that we did some dumb shit with the elliptical. Uh, yeah. She gets some hydrogen peroxide, some bandages, cleans up the wound, bandages it up, and calls for a taxi to take us to the doctor. So I get to the doctor, they look at my toe, and they tell me I came the very said, close to no more monkeys jumping on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> it off. But thank Jesus, it was still pretty much intact, and I just had a really bad flesh wound. I wasn't going to be able to wear shoes for a couple of weeks, but at least I wasn't going to lose my toe. And my mom was mad, Ooh. but she was more relieved that I didn't cut off my toe. And for the kids, this is a lesson when a parent say, don't touch something. Don't touch it. They don't listen. Some kids listen though. Some well, kids. if you're going to touch it, just don't do nothing, you know, like that. Anyway, a few days pass and I've started to put the incident behind me when my dad stops by the house to visit me and see how I was doing. It was like a Saturday morning and I'm happy to see him as I'm always happy to see my so dad. He <laughs> cracks a few jokes about my toes and gives me a big old hug. So he hugs me and then he looks at me and is like, well, you know what I got to do now? Right? I'm like, I, I have that in my head what do you too. mean? What do you gotta do? Yo, what what do you gotta do, Dad? He's like, what, what do you do? think? You Get the belt. You know he wasn't supposed to be playing on that goddamn elliptical. I knew what I was gonna happen. Like, 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 what am I? Like, um, did I not give Mr. Nuff? I learned my lesson, Dad. I learned my lesson. Mm -hmm. I don't have to get a whooping. You don't have to do this to me. You know? Dang. I'm like, what did he say? Did he say I'm like, are you serious? Was right. almost losing my toe not enough for you? 
Must you beat me as well? He's like, son, it's about the principal. Oh, which reminds me, don't forget to bring your sister. She's getting some of this too. I'm like, oh. damn, this nigga ain't got no heart. So I get my sister, <laughs> I get the belt, and this time I didn't fight it. No tears, no hesitation. I took them shits like a man. Oh. She said, come through, it's a go. That was, that was a cool story. I like that. <laughs> Thumbs up, young he Don. Thumbs so up. I like that. <laughs> no, that was good. That was like. really good. And subscribe. Like, this, yeah. That was cool, right? I like that. Yes. Cool. I liked it a lot. It showed the lesson. It is relatable. Mm -hmm. I mean, not the whole doing something stupid like that, but you know, you know, we all did something stupid before. Right? Of course. Like, it's a little kids do. That, yeah. But it yeah, is cool video. I definitely, we definitely will be doing some more reactions to him. Yeah, he's cool. If you guys have anything I want to react to by him, let us know in the comments below because we will do it. And it's that simple. We will do it. We will do it. Yeah, that's cool. 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 Yeah,